This AI ECG algorithm is certainly a very novel tool. And in our study, we also demonstrate that how we can pair a modern co computer technology such as this AI ECG algorithm to a traditional non-invasive and non-expensive test such as like a single ECG, then which can give us a lot of information that we wouldn't have otherwise obtained. So the significance of using this AI ECG algorithm is that in every ECG that showed normal sinus rhythm, it will be hard traditionally to interpret whether the patient has atrial fibrillation or not. And the gold standard to detect atrial fibrillation is to do prolonged cardiac monitoring. So you ask a patient to wear a cardiac monitor for 30 days, 60 days or longer um, to capture atrial fibrillation. However, through this AI ECG algorithm, it gives you the probability maybe this patient has atrial fibrillation that you have just not captured it. Um, so, so that is information that we obtain from a single ECG. And then for patients with a higher risk of atrial, uh, of atrial fibrillation, that might indicate, let's say, we might, um, we might arrange prolonged cardiac monitoring, we might pro be more prone to start any antithrombotic agent for in patients that has high risk for stroke or atrial fibrillation. So I think this is a very novel and important important tool that, that we have in our clinic. Going back to our study, we because of this novel AI ECG algorithm, we were able to um, extract a large population of patients with migraine. We got 40,000 patients with migraine in our cohort, and we're able to extract the AI ECG prediction model output in everyone with migraine with aura and migraine without aura, as long as they had at least one ECG that showed norm, normal sinus, sinus rhythm, which allowed us to compare the subclinical atrial uh, fibrillation prediction rate between the two cohort. Um, there was no, not really that difficulty in terms of obtaining um, the numbers, as um, you asked, because we collaborated with our cardiology colleague and we were able to extract all the information, including the AI ECG prediction model output. And then that provides us a very powerful tool because we could compare the AI ECG AFib prediction model output between the two group of patients, migraine with aura and migraine without aura. And we did it on a large number of patients with migraine. So I think um, this novel computer technology actually allowed us to um, understand the association between clinical disorders such as migraine and atrial fibrillation in a large cohort of patients and using a very simple test, ECG.